What's up guys, Spiderbot here, we've got Boom Beach coming at you. This is Hammerman's first headquarters. He's that funky dude who comes and talks to you and talks trash to you while you're playing Boom Beach. And this is the first time we've encountered his headquarters. Now I'm going to be showing you or walking you through each of these headquarters. I know I did some of them in the Let's Plays, but I want to talk specific strategies here with you guys, all right? I'm trying to complete these at as low a level as possible. So I, when I first encountered Hammerman's HQ, I'm on headquarters level four. I have a gunboat level five, and I only have three landing craft. I've got two equipped with eight riflemen, and the third is equipped with two heavies, all right? And I believe they are fully upgraded. So I'm pretty sure I have everything upgraded here at this headquarters level four as far as gunboat, troops, etc. All right, so we're just scoping it out. He's got two mortars and the MG sitting out in front of his base. Now, you know, if you're at a higher headquarters level, you have more troops, you have more upgraded troops. This is going to be a cakewalk. But as it is, we're trying to do it here at the lowest level possible. I don't want to rank up and then come back and, and run these bases. I want to show you how to beat them as quickly as possible, as soon as possible as you can. All right, so here we are. We're going for our first attack, and I'll tell you right now, this is a failed attack. So I use three artillery on the mortar, and it's not enough. It's not enough to take out the single mortar at my gunboat uh, level five or the capacity of my artillery, whatever the maximum level is here on headquarters level four. So I go for to try and finish off that mortar. It does take a little bit, and then I'm going for the other mortar. I, sh You know, in hindsight, I may not have been a good idea to come right across like that and uh, perhaps maybe have taken out the, uh, the MG, but that MG is pretty tough. That MG is pretty tough to take out and uh, we fail it big time, but that's okay because we learn from our mistakes. We're gonna come back here very shortly. I don't retreat, I don't like retreating from battle, by the way. I will lose all my troops sooner than uh, retreat. I think I've only retreated maybe uh, less than a handful of times out of all the battles that I've, uh, that I've taken part here in Boom Beach, all right? So I'm just scouting it out here again, and I'm going to skip to the next attack, and we, we have a much, much more successful attack the second time around, so hold on. All right, here we are again. We're gonna scout out the base one more time, and I'm thinking about coming up on the right-hand side, and let's take a look at the mortar. See the range? The range goes slightly behind the headquarters of the base. That MMG 9000 is killer, so it has 12,000 health. I can't hit it straight on with the level of troops I have. That's why I kind of crossed over to the other mortar. And I don't think a direct approach is going to work with these troops. Again, if you're at a higher HQ level, better troops, a better gunboat, then for sure you can probably do a frontal attack. But here we're going to try to come and circumvent the entire defense, okay? So we're gonna come up here, bring all our troops in, and we're gonna try and get them to go around everything. Then they do hit a couple of these uh, these mines here, and uh, my flare isn't very well upgraded. I think it's only a six second flare, uh, I think, at uh, headquarters level four. So we're going to come around right to the very back of the base. I'm not going to use my artillery on any of their defenses. I'm just going to set up flares at the very back of the base, and you could have gone, actually, I probably couldn't have gone much further. That's about as far as you can go. You can go further with the trees, with the removable trees on, on bases, but you can't where it, it sort of looks like this, though that brush and the trees aren't removable. So I'm just gonna heal them up a little bit. Now I know the mortar is going to be taking out the guys in the front, but the guys in the back I think are going to be okay. And what I wanted to do with the health is try and keep the guys at the front alive as long as possible so that we do eventually take out that HQ because we're gonna end up with very few units here, well, a couple riflemen and, uh, and a heavy that are going to have to finish off this HQ and it's got a lot of health these uh, some of these HQs have a ton of health I think there was one that was 200,000 I don't know if it was a uh, hammerman second HQ or if it was one of the terror dr. Terror's bases But uh, you can see here. We've got two minutes and 43 seconds or so to go And uh, I think our units are gonna be in good shape to take out that HQ. It's more than enough time But uh, that's that's what I've been going through sort of trial and error on these bases and trying to come up with the best sort of strategy for taking these bases at as low a troop level as possible. So we're going to skip ahead here. And here we are completing the destruction of the HQ and taking over our first 
Hammerman base. We get the, the one star achievement for payback. And the uh, Hammerman's gonna come in here. Damn you! Do you have any idea how hard it is to oppress all these people? Well, Hammerman. Fine, you can have this island. I have other ones that are bigger and stronger. Yeah, well, I look forward to it, Hammerman. Anyways, I uh, hope this helped you guys uh, defeat this base as soon as possible and as low as... Uh, can't even speak now. And at as low a level as possible. And uh, we'll be back for more, guys. Spider out.